What is going on, people? Today, I am bringing you an offer. If you're not interested in learning how to stack your credit for real estate, stop listening. If you're interested in that, let's go ahead and deal with some fundamental truths here. I see a lot of people talking about go out and find a hard money investor. Now, a hard money investor is someone that's going to loan you a lot of money on a short-term basis based upon they think that your deal can work. Now, for the last few weeks, I've been talking to investors. I looked at my experiences, and it's really interesting. If someone came to you and said, look, I don't have enough credit to do this deal, but I want you to give me, let's say, $500,000 for this multi-unit deal. And what would you say to that offer, realistically, if you worked very hard to get your money? Chances are you're going to say no. Now, what I present today is something a little bit better. It's going to take some time. It's not happening overnight. But the duality of personal credit and business credit. Now, there was a time in my life due to my divorce and some other, this is a long, long time ago. I, my personal credit was okay because I fixed it, but if you don't know how the credit bureaus run, that's how a lot of times people find you, certain things happen. So I was real hesitant to use my personal credit. Also, there was other reasons. I built a really robust business credit profile. I had up to $500,000 in unsecured credit lines. Okay, before you get all excited, that's very hard to do today and damn near impossible because everyone's going to ask for a personal guarantee. Let me say that again. Today, that is damn near impossible and everyone is going to ask for a personal guarantee. But, see, this is the way that you can do this. Now, I'm going to warn you on this because it's going to be dangerous. Because if you take this information and you misuse it, it can end up really, really bad for you. Now, with that, I think you're an adult and you can handle the truth, so we're going to jump into it. What you want to do is make your personal credit, if it's not bad, better. And you also want to build a solid business credit profile. Now, this is what happens. Typically, when you have business credit, that does not report to your personal credit profile. We had a vehicle that was in the name of the company. This was a long time ago when Ford was doing uh, no PJ, no personal guarantee deals. And that didn't appear on my personal credit. It appeared on the DMB of the corporation, but it didn't appear on the personal credit. Now, what does this do? If you're a real estate investor, Typically, when you get that fourth house or fifth house, that's when the bank starts saying no because they feel that you're going to be over leveraged. Now, what if you had a completely different, legit line of credit? You go ahead and you create your legal entity and you start building that credit profile in parallel to fixing or using your personal credit profile. Now, what I'm going to do is teach you how to build these credit profiles and how to make your good credit better and how to fix your bad credit. This is something that was going to be in disruptive money for business, but it makes more sense to go into the business of real estate. Now, let's talk about the business of real estate. I am not throwing this course together because what I am doing is talking to people, getting feedback, and I'm putting in there what's important. So you got great credit. You're out there doing real estate deals. First thing you're going to run into is you're going to max out on the number of properties that you can invest in. Then you can get into partnerships, which will give you more money and more reach and range, but lack of control. I think if you can leverage 10 houses in your name, one in your personal side, one in your corporation, and use that money strictly the way it's supposed to. Because see, this is the thing with business credit. You have to use that credit for business-related purposes because, and this is the danger part, if you go bankrupt or you can't make your payments, 
They're coming after you. There will be none of this. We're just going to write this off. They're coming after you and your assets. And that's why I said this is dangerous. And this is why you got to be careful with this stuff. It's like dynamite. You know, properly used, you can build the Panama Canal. And properly used, you can blow yourself up. I mean, that's the reality of it. And we're going to get into the beginning phases of that for you folks who want to start building now. Because I keep saying these things over and over again. It's not going to be overnight. You're not going to do this lickety split. This is not going to be some sudden transformation. But within five years, six years, you can have a solid real estate portfolio. So if that sounds good to you and that's something you want to invest in, Click the link below and go ahead and sign up. And then tomorrow you'll start getting the steps that you need to build these entities because there's a certain way that you have to do it. There's a certain way you have to put things together. There's a certain way that you have to present things. And we will talk about that and more. Once again, this starts tomorrow. If you want to be part of it, it is $399 to get in for beta pricing for the course. That entitles you to everything that comes into the, the business of real estate, which is going to take us some time to build out. Because as I said earlier, I'm not throwing this together. I'm not putting stuff in there that doesn't make sense. And since it's going to take you time to get into the property game, I'm going to make sure you get into the property game correctly with better information and none of this fly by night stuff. None of this, well, you can become a millionaire in three years because... When someone says something like that and it's true, they're not telling you that the person who was making these investments had a father-in-law, a mother-in-law who was worth millions and advanced them the money. The biggest barrier that most people have is not knowledge, it's money and credit. Because if you've got the money and the credit, you can make a lot of deals work. That's just facts. So, you got to have great personal credit to keep this going because what you can do, and I'm going to get into what I call this little sandwich move where you can use one credit profile to pay off something else and pay off the banks and then take that money, buy more real estate, wash, rinse, and repeat. But you got to do it a certain way. You got to have it set up a certain way. And you need to be investing in good deals. So once again, links below. Hit that link and you'll be in and tomorrow you'll start being educated on how to fix your credit or how to make your good credit even better and how to start developing a business credit profile.